another report and more accusations, but there aren't as many people accusing Senator Latvala in this latest report. And investigators say that's because they couldn't get some witnesses to talk. And some of the ones who did told investigators they feared backlash if they came forward. Fear. Fear of retaliation from the man in control of the state's $83 billion budget. That's just one of the reasons the Tampa investigator reported that people gave when questioned about Senator John Latvala and the sexual harassment allegations against him. The report is a part of a third party investigation ordered by the Senate President Joe Negron. It's the second report released in the last two days where women accused Senator Latvala of inappropriate behavior. In this latest report, one woman said the senator gave her a big hug, grabbed her butt, kissed her mouth, put his hand on top of her dress, and grunted in her ear. In the report, other women reported similar interactions with the senator, but Latvala denies all the claims against him. The report says some witnesses didn't come forward, and the ones who did were promised they would be anonymous by the Senate president. And after that, investigators also changed their strategy by not recording witnesses or asking for sworn testimony. One witness was a afraid Latvala will be reinstated and back as the chairman of the Appropriations Committee even after these allegations. That fear is what activists like Sierra Bender says keeps people from coming forward, but she says things are starting to change. This takes time. This takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of courage. And so at this moment in time, it's fabulous because there's so many women, the sad part, that are coming forward. And the statistics state that one out of four women are a statistic of sexual assault and abuse before the age of 18. Bender says this is just one of many cases where high profile people are being accused of this type of behavior. And she says she's hoping it sends a message. If we don't use our voices and if we don't step up and start holding these people accountable for their actions, this is how they get away with it. So in the silence is the violence. Now, in the report, Latvala said maybe he made a comment to a woman about her weight loss and told them that they looked great, but that's the only thing he's guilty of. One witness told investigators, quote, Latvala still lives in the 70s and 80s where these things were done, but the rules have changed and no one has told him that the rules have changed. In the newsroom, Sandra Weather, Spectrum, Bay News 9.